Shopify Meta Fields tutorial, how to use Shopify Meta Fields for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add more product information with Shopify Meta Fields. So let's get into it. Now, sometimes when you take a look at the Shopify fields that you are provided with, you only have a limited number of fields that you can add your own varied information about. Plus, if you go on ahead and go into your online store and customize the product template, this would be applied across all products. So, for example, I'll show you guys a simple example. I'll go into products over here and I'll just select one product. And let's say for this particular product, I want to display something like 100% organic cotton. So if I click on add block, add this text, so I'll go into text block and this might say 100% organic cotton like this and now once i add this text block over here so we have this little text block and if i place it right over here like this we have this text now if i click on save over here and i go back into my shopify store this will display this text throughout all of the products that i have so you guys can see it says 100 organic cotton however this is not applicable to all of my shopify products so I like to use meta fields for this purpose because it allows me to display information about certain products or certain sections, collections that is going to be specific to that collection. Whereas I can display a none or nil option for things that are not going to be applicable. So let's get into how to build our meta fields. Now to get started with building our meta fields, click on settings on the bottom left of your Shopify dashboard. Once you do that, you're going to click on over here on the left. You have different sections over here. And in these, you have this section called custom data. You're going to click on that. And once you do, you will see all of the meta fields that you can add. So first off, I want to add a meta field for our product. So I'll click on products over here and I'll click on add definition. And let's say this is going to be uh, materials like this. Now from here, I can add types as well. So this is going to be a single line text and this is going to be a list of values. This might be 100% organic cotton. And then below that you have the validations as well as access. Now, once I've done that, I am just going on ahead and I will go on ahead and, you know, I just have my materials, the namespace and key and the basic description. Now I have a basic definition about my product. And once I have created this meta field, I can click on save. Now this is just one particular meta field to display one particular product type. This is a single line text and you guys can see on the bottom, you have some detailed information. Now, how can I display this on my product? So I have this product over here and I wanna remove this from all of the templates. Instead, I want to only display it on this. Well, to insert a product meta field, you're going to go into your dashboard and once you are in your dashboard, click on that particular product. Once you open up that product, scroll to the bottom of that product. And then on the bottom, you will have your meta field. Click on the meta field and this is going to be 100% organic cotton. And now I'll click on add item. Now, once I've done that, I can click on save. Now, once I've done that, I can refresh my page. And once we have refreshed our page and this particular type of uh, information has been displayed in our meta field, I can go back into my online store and click on customize on my online store. Now, once I go into my online store, I'll open up my default product once more. So going into our product template, I'm going to remove this little section that we created in the past. And then below that, we can click on add block or you can click on add sections and you're going to search for a custom data section or a meta field section. So usually you can find that over here. If we can't find it over here, we can go on ahead and re-add our information from our Shopify dashboard. So currently we're gonna go into our custom section and it's not giving me the option to insert my meta field in my product info. I'm going to make sure that we have all of these sections, blog post, page, page fly, and we can't find meta fields over here. Usually you can find your meta field, but if you can't find your meta field, let's go on ahead and proceed just to make sure that everything is working fine. 
Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the product dashboard, go into the product info, and we can go into definition. I can add another item, 100% recycle or 100% nature derived like this and we can add these information bits and this is a multi-section option and i want to enable this on my storefront and i want to also go on ahead have the validations and we have a regular expression we have the regular text and i just want to add material or composition like this and click on save once we have saved our definitions for our product we can go into our product once more to see if the information has been displayed. Now, in this way, you can display extra information about a particular product, and you can do this for collections as well. So if I go into settings and custom data, and in our custom data, I want to add information about the variants. I can add that as well. We have information about a particular item. So you can even build your own definitions like this. So let's say this is going to be fabric and I can add the field. So this is going to be related to a product and then this is going to be fabrics. And then we are going to add materials like this. And this is going to be for a list of products. So one product, and then this is going to be a required field. Click on add. And now once we have a particular field added, I can insert information about a meta field info. So now we can go into the custom data and add custom data options for us to choose from. So you guys can see this is a field object for custom content or data structures. Now, once we have our data structure ready, I will go into this t-shirt over here. And once I go into this t-shirt, I can just scroll down and I have the product meta fields and the variant meta fields. Now I can click on over here and I can add cotton as my meta field. And once we've done that, we are going to go into the second option and let's say this is the other, you know, plastic derived cotton. And I can just click on save. Once I have clicked on save, I can view the product in my online store. And if you can't find the newly shared info in your online store, you might have to clear your cookies and then refresh your page. And we are going to go into online store again to click on customize and display the data accordingly. So I'm going to go into product and then go into my default product. Now our default product is this item, but I want to customize it for the other one. So I'll go on ahead and choose another product like our t-shirt. And then from our t-shirt, I can click on add section and add a meta field section to display our content information. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.